you bookaholics welcome to another video so today i am celebrating my one year anniversary as a booktuber i'm so excited i've made it a whole year and it's just it's crazy i started this big project that i wasn't too sure if it's going to actually work january 18th and it's crazy that i made it through a whole year and I'm still doing this and I'm still loving it. I love being able to just talk about these books because I don't have too many people to talk about these books with but it's awesome to be able to talk to you guys so I just want to celebrate my one year anniversary by doing a book tour and showing you guys all the books I accumulated since starting booktube. Now I don't have all of them here unfortunately. I still have a box in the garage that I packed away before going to Ireland. So I don't have all of them quite here, but most of those are the ones that I had for a while, like my Divergent series in there, I have my Withered series and stuff like that. I have a couple that I did buy when I started book two, but can't do anything about it at the moment, but I do have the books that I do have on the shelf behind me, so we're going to look at those. I'm excited, so let's get right into the book tour. Okay, so I have my one bookshelf set up as all my books that only have one of them, so it could be a series, but I just have the one book, or it's just contemporary. So this is all those books and they're all color coordinated besides the one at the bottom but I have them all color coordinated and these are the books that are just have the one book in the series or are contemporaries on this shelf so I'll start at the bottom shelf so the first is Winter's Tale by Shakespeare, Silas Marner by George Eliot, Villette by Charlotte Bronte, Alice Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, North Anger Abbey by Jane Austen, Far from the Maddening Crowd by Thomas Hardy, Longbourn by Joe Baker, Mr. Darcy's Diary by Amanda Grange, The Odyssey by Homer, Death Comes to Pumberland by P.D. James, Emma by Jane Austen, Wreck This Jur Journal by Carrie Smith, Dracula by Bram Stoker, In Search of Respect, Selling Crack in Alberio by Philip Bogosi, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner by Stephanie Mayer, and then the box set of the Twilight series by Stephanie Mayer. So the next shelf is pretty much the color coordinated of the black spine books. The first is Other Broken Things by C. Desir, I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo, Here Martin by Nick Stone, Panic by Lauren Oliver, The Hearts We Sold by Emily Lloyd Jones, Crier's Cross by Lisa McMahon, I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella, The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks, Looking for Alaska by John Green, Six a Crow by Leigh Bardugo, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, the Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. The Nowhere Girls by Amy Reed. Before She Ignites by Jody Meadow. Tash Hearts Tolstoy by Catherine Omshi. Hollow City, the second novel of Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Brackett. The next shelf is the color coordinated of red and orange. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes, Paper Towns by John Green, Remember Me by Sophie Kinsella, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, The Wrong Side of Right by Jen Mary Thorne, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma, Landline by Rainbow Rowell, The Undomestic Goddess by Sophie Kinsella, The Weight of Silence by Heather Gudenkopf, The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiefvater, The Truth About Alice by Jennifer Matthew, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills, The Strays by Emily Bitto, Something Maybe by Elizabeth Scott. The next shelf was a combination of yellow and white Spines, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, The Duff by Cody Keplinger, I'll Give You the Sun by Jannie Nelson, Twenties Girl by Sophie Kinsella, Bridget Jones Diary by Helen Fielding, Dear John by Nicholas Sparks, One Day by David Nichols, Attachments by Rainbow Rowell, It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Zazzini, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, After You by Jojo Moyes, Austin Land by Shannon Hale, Room by Emma Donahue. To all the boys that love 
love before ps i still love you and always and forever lara jean all by jenny han love and gelato by jenny evans welch little back dresses little white lies by laura stampler turtles all the way down by john green eleanor and park by rainbow rowell war cross by mary lou crazy by amy reed glitter by Aproline pike everything everything by nicola yoon stranger than fan fiction by chris colfer you're welcome universe by whitney gardner the last shelf is the mixture of green and blue unexpected everything by morgan matson fangirl by rainbow rowell eliza and her monsters by francesca zappia my not so perfect life by sophie kinsella the sky is everywhere by Janie nelson the lucky one by nicholas sparks the last song by nicholas sparks the selection by kiara cass something blue by emily giffen finding audrey by sophie kinsella the female of the species by mindy mcginnis these things hidden by heather gutenkoff splintered by ag howard the gentleman's guide to vice and virtue by mackenzie lee wonder by rj palacio the fault in our stars by john green the upside of unrequited by becky albertalli the history is all you left me by adam silvera they both die at the end by adam silvera cat and meg conquer the world so my other shelf is mostly consistent of all the series i have though there are some mixed in there that aren't series just because they kind of went over from the other side that weren't able to fit this is the bottom shelf of the series shelf so i have the ugly series by scott westerfield intertwined unraveled and twisted all by jenna showalter the bluest eye and beloved by tony morrison risk and reward the birth and matriotic rise of the saskatchewan party by gail Carwetz, which was a little hand-me-down from my uncle because he wants me to read more non-fiction he always calls my books fake and so i just took it to shut him up fashions of a shopaholic by sophie kinsella can you keep a secret by sophie kinsella how to be single by liz tukilo one rainbow's end by cecilia ahern it's not me it's you by mariah mcfarlane who's that girl by mariah mcfarlane the perfect ruin and burning kingdoms by lauren destefano never let you go by chevy stevens then and always by danny atkins half blood blues by sc Ud Fault Lines by Nancy Houston, Envy by Greg Olson, Sleepy Hollows and Other Short Stories by Washington Irving, and then another gift my uncle, Army of Evil by Adrian Wheel, and then the next shelf, The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, and The Mark of Athena all by Rick Riordan, then the Percy Jackson series box set by Rick Riordan, The Host by Stephanie Mayer, Bloodline, The Golden Lily, The Indigo Spell, The Fiery Heart, Silver Shadows, and The Ruby Heart all by Rochelle Mead, Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and The Last Sacrifice also by Rochelle Mead. Then The Middle Shelf, Geekerella by Ashley Poston, Autobiography by Christina Lauren, Dream Things True by Mary Marquardt, You'll Miss Me When I'm Gone by Rachel Lynn Solomon, The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody, There Will Come a Time by Carrie Arcos, The Raven Boys by Maggie Seavotter, The Night Circus by Erin Morgan, Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth, The Last Namsera by Kristen Sicarelli, Renegades by Marissa Mayer, The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell, Caraval by Stephanie Garber, Stalking Jack the Ripper, and Hunting Prince Dracula, both by Carrie Miskalko. So the fourth shelf, The Bane Chronicles, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess, all by Cassandra Clare, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heaven. Heavenly Fire, all by Cassandra Clare, Lady Midnight, and Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. Then the last shelf, Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, all by Marissa Mayer, A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, and A Court of Wings and Ruin, all by Sarah J. Mass. And then the box set of all the Harry Potters, so Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and then the Deathly Hollows. So that is it for this book tour. As I said, I do have a lot left still in storage, so these are not technically all of my books, but they are all the ones that I have with me at the moment, and they're the more, not necessarily important, but most of these I have not read, so it's nicer to have this than my one where I have read most of them, except maybe one or two. I am so happy I made it to my one year anniversary. 
anniversary and that I'm still loving doing this. I was worried before I started doing it booktube that I would lose interest in doing it or I would end up just like kind of getting out of it but that never happened which I'm really happy for because I love talking about books. This really motivates me to actually get books and read them and actually constantly be vigilant in reading books and doing all that. So I'm really happy for that and I'm still really enjoying doing booktube and I'm just happy that people are enjoying watching my videos. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, check out my other social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, Goodreads, and Instagram. I make a video every Thursday and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!